Is the mic on? Oh my god. How do I do this all the time? Oh yes, it is. It's on. It's on. It's on. So I think I've expressed this before on this channel, but I'm not really much of a tasks management systems person. I don't really dwell on how I'm going to get things done, but what have I gotten done? More reflection than strategizing. But since I created that time blocking timetable, I've realized that strategizing also has its benefits. And I think I really found the sweet spot for strategizing my tasks for the day. Time blocking is probably the best solution for my work day. However, I find that there is one issue. I can't really figure out how much time I need to allot for certain tasks. And when I feel I know how much time I should allot, it ends up being way too much or way too little. And this really isn't that big of an issue. Um, that's just a matter of realigning the schedule as the day goes on. That's a natural thing to do. But I came across this one video from Andrew Kirby, and he has some valuable insights. I haven't really looked too deep into his channel, but I've seen a few videos, and this one kind of reeled me in. It's called, This Spreadsheet Changed My Life. I watched this video, and I followed the link to his spreadsheet that basically solved the problem that I had. I figuring out how much time to allot to a single problem or task, depending on its difficulty and the amount of overall time you have. And it's just a simple calculation that spits out the hours and minutes you should be spending on something, depending on its difficulty. I thought it was valuable. I thought it was a good idea. So I'm going to adopt that idea and try to translate it into Notion, which is totally possible. There's only one column calculation, and as you may know, uh, Notion has issues with column calculations and formulas, and I do have a workaround for it. So let's get into it. I love living here. So let's first start with an inline table. Call it, how much time should I spend on a task. Let's name this to do. And let's make this how many hours I have. This is going to be a formula, but we're not going to create a formula. We're just going to put it there and insert how many hours we have. The reason why I made it a formula property is because I want these sixes to go all the way down the table. So let's just put in some filler, task one, task two, task three, maybe do another four and five. So five tasks to do in six hours. Now I want difficulty sum, and I'll go over this in a moment. That will also be a formula. And here we'll say difficulty between one to 10. And we'll make this a number property. So essentially, every task, I'm going to rate between 1 and 10 difficulty. Let's say this is 3, 3, 5, I don't know, 7, and 4. Now for the time to work property. And this will be a formula. This is the property that's going to spit out how much time we should spend on each task given its difficulty and how many hours we have. Down here under difficulty, I'm going to click sum. And with this sum, I'm going to insert it into difficulty sum. So 22. Now let's work on this formula. So let's try to really break this one down. So the essential formula is going to be prop how many hours I have added by property difficulty sum multiplied by property difficulty 1 through 10. Of course, I did a double property here when I shouldn't have, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. We have sort of a crazy number here, but all of this does add up 
to six, which is how many hours we have. Let's say we have seven. It should sum to seven, eight, and so on. So now that we have this number, we're gonna create an hours and minutes conversion from it. To do this, let's sort of do this in um, increments. Naturally, I wanna round this number. So I'm gonna go round 100 times. And then I'm gonna go divide it by 100. That's easier to manage. Now what I want to do is format this so that it's not a number. The reason why I want to do this is because I want to slice this first digit of this uh, sequence because that's technically one hour. As you can see, the sum value is now zero because now we're working with text, not numbers. So let's slice this zero, one, and we should get that first number. Cool. Let's go plus hour. I want to do a space around this. Okay, so now let's find the minute value. For this, I'm going to take this same equation, that prop how many hours divided by prop difficulty sum multiplied by prop difficulty 1 through 10 up to this round function. Just copy it, paste it, format it. And now we have that number again. Now I want to take everything away past the decimal um, to the left. So I just want to keep this 0 0.82, 0 0.36, 0 0.91, get rid of that first value. So to do that, we're just going to slice again. So let's slice this one, four. And now we can kind of convert this into a number again, actually. So let's do that. We are going to come up with an error, but we'll fix that right now. I want to go multiply this by 60. That's why I'm using this two number, because I want to use a calculation for a moment. And then I'm going to go right back and format that. So this is what we're kind of left with. Don't worry, we're going to clean this up in a moment. So I'm actually going to slice this one more time to 0, 2. Now we're left with this 0 hours, 49 minutes, 1 hour, 21 minutes. Down here we have this 1 hour, 5 minutes dot. I want to get rid of that dot. So what I'm going to do is just replace this whole thing in regards to that comma with an empty space. I'm sorry, that decimal. There we go. And then I'm going to add minutes. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and see if this works. It amounts to about 5.9666 hours, so basically six hours. Let's change it to eight hours and see how it changes. You can see every single property changes because we have a little bit more time to spare. Let's say I want to change a difficulty of one of these. I'd say it's maybe not three, it'd probably take me more than an hour and five minutes. Let's say four. I'm going to have to change this difficulty some since it changed to 23, and everything will show up. So like I said, this is a really good reference. It works. I enjoy it. I actually used this today, and it did help me to actualize what I needed to do in what amount of time. I work in intervals of 30 minutes in my time blocking, so I sort of just rounded this up and down according to that. So I thought I'd share because uh, I thought it was really interesting. And it could be helpful to someone who is really into time blocking. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave a link down below to this table, as well as the reference for the video I got this from, from Andrew Kirby. And I will see you guys at the end of the week, probably Sunday or next Monday, for a video on learning languages with Remnote and Notion.
So subscribe if you aren't to keep updated on that, and I will see you guys next time.